we have here is uh, we're going to demonstrate to you a smart parking lot uh, system now this addresses the issues of uh, people arguing about a parking slot and I'm sure most of you have uh, been in that situation uh, the second thing you go around shopping malls and uh, most of the parking lot displays how many spaces are available but uh, they really tell you where exactly the space is so we are trying to address uh, that issue as well and uh, finally we are looking at a little bit of sustainability where you waste your time and uh, burn a lot of fuel carbon emission uh, searching around parking lot so this will basically direct you straight uh, where to go and park and on board we have uh, six uh, slots with uh, LDR sensors uh, a push switch to get out servo that controls the barrier arm a switch that lets you in through a servo and the barrier arm and LCD display that will uh, state the conditions of whether the car park is full or which lot is vacant and where should you drive to this is our little circuit board and uh, the heart of the board is uh, a 20x2 uh, we have a bank of transistors that act as an inverter and each inverter has an LED to indicate when it is turning on and off in a rigorous program written behind this on this side of the board we have uh, sorry about the quality uh, the labels that show which of these wires what color wires mean what uh, and becomes easier for us to basically plug onto the breadboard uh, just a quick overview of this board i just flip this over at the bottom we just have common copper tape and just wires that go and sold onto the copper tape uh, and they just get pulled out uh, from the side of the box and this circuit something that i developed a couple of years ago uh, to run the lcd okay so let's plug everything and get it right so we can see we have plugged everything into our board and all of the leds are now lighting up i just quit do a quick demo that if I cover one of the LEDs sorry the LDRs the LED turns on uh, and off and that will determine basically the presence of a car uh, or if the lot is vacant okay. so here we go uh, our little display here says welcome to SPLMS which is smart parking lot management system and let's see how the system runs so we'll get the first car waiting there and we'll press this button server opens up powers go in it says go to lot a and lot a is blinking and the car just drives over and gets parked into lot a the screen initializes back to its uh, welcome position and the next car is ready to go in so that's lot b and lot b is blinking tells the car driver where the lot is so i've got two cars in the lot now third car button go to lot C and C is blinking goes on to lot C and then third one sorry fourth one goes to lot D and we can see D light is blinking comes to lot D Fifth car, and there's a 
little bit jitter in the servo. So, lot E, blinking, and it gets parked there. And we've got one more lot left. And uh, let's see what we can bring. Okay, get a muscle car in here. So, finally, lot F. Drive some to lot and here we go. So all six lots are now occupied and the display screen now shows sorry car park is full. Say if another car does want to go through and comes here, presses the button, nothing will happen because all the lots are full okay. now to get out of the lot the car must pull out from its bay and press this switch so there's two conditions to this uh, uh, execution of getting out so we pull a car out from lot E it drives to it says out press of a button Server goes up, car drives out, and then bang, back to its position down there. So now we have one lot that is vacant, and that's lot number E. If you come down here, we don't have car park full message, so let's pop this car back up here. And if we press, it should say go to lot E. And that was the only lot that was free. And here we go. Oops. Okay, say two or three cars are going out one by one. So it could be any car, random. Uh, B pulls out and goes, is ready to go out of the lot. Here we go, it drives out. We have B that's free, and let's say we take F out as well, and F drives out as well. So now we've got two lots that are free. Let's say another car wants to come in, and it should occupy or give us a position that's very close to the parking lot. So B is the closest one, so it will now give us lot B, and we have F which is vacant, let's say A pulls out in the meantime and wants to go out, so A goes out, we've got F and A that's vacant, come back here, muscle car going in this time press nearest lot is A and this car goes into A the beauty about this project is it assigns the most closest car uh, slot that's available right. and finally this will occupy lot F Okay, so we have all the cars now parked in, and finally, the park is full. Right, so none of the LEDs are even lighting up, showing there's a visual indicator that none of the lots are available. And okay, just to show how this will work, car moves out, light comes on, car goes back, 